Good morning! Welcome to Belgium, welcome to Spa. We are here, as I'm sure the audio would suggest, during the Spa 24 hours. I have conveniently been given the new Bentley Continental GT and we're going to kick off today by sharing a very special parade lap with you. We are going live on the track just before the Spa 24 hours. Let's see how quick we can take Eau Rouge in a wonderful Grand Tourer. Let's hit it! Welcome to the all new Bentley Continental GT. Now I know I've filmed this car before, but today is the backdrop of the Spa 24 hour. And we're currently on our way to do a parade lap with countless other Bentleys. I feel honored to be part of it because this is one of the significant motoring events of the year. And so yesterday, as a spot of context, George and I drove down from the UK all the way to Spa in this cross-continental missile. We were saying, you know, as far as Grand Tours go, Right now, I'm struggling to think of anything that offers the full package of a, of a Grand Tour like this. Man, I tell you what, I've had the honor of doing some incredibly... Look, we're on a rouge! This is ridiculous! Oh, you forget how steep it is. Wow, what a monumental thing. Off we go! <laughs> this is incredible. Now we're really feeling the full force of this W12. Six litre, over 600 horsepower. What an incredible thing. It gives you an appreciation for the undulation of this track. You know, for a big car, I mean, this is the best part of two tons. It really handles incredibly flat. But don't forget now we've got a twin clutch eight speed gearbox. It's utterly lightning fast. It's so responsive. It's interesting because the character of this car isn't all about lap times. It's much more about it being a steady cruising driving experience. But if you were to find yourself, you know, conveniently in the Alps, I think you could attack an Alpine pass in this like nobody's business. What's this now? Oh, it's so, you can see it. Whoa. It's so steep. <laughs> wow. Look at that. What a circuit this is. We have to be a little bit careful because we do have other folks in front that I believe have never driven this circuit at all. I mean, like I say, I've only ever driven it once, but I've done a lot of laps on Gran Turismo. <laughs> it reminds me of the Nürburgring in that it's very hard to convey just how aggressive the gradients are here. That's one thing that I don't think I've, I've ever really truly had the feeling of through, through TV or through games. I mean, oh Rouge, just before you get to the top, you're kind of looking at the sky and you can't see what's over the top. So for all intents and purposes, you can't see what's over that crest. So if anything has gone wrong over the top, you better have your wits about you. It's a hell of a circuit. Back to the car park. The race has begun. Now, this spec actually isn't up really the sort of thing I would uh, spec. It's a lovely car, but it's definitely for what I would class as potentially the older gent. So I've been referring to it as somewhat of the pipe and slippers ethos. It is gorgeous, but not necessarily to the sort of style that I would like. However, I am aware that despite the fact that it's not to my taste, the options on this are pretty outstanding and special. Now conveniently, what's great about Bentley press cars is that in the glove box, they give you the breakdown of the spec and the corresponding prices of each option. I haven't looked at these yet. Uh, George just started quizzing me with a few of them. He's gonna run down the list of options and we're gonna uh, take a guess at how much they are. So let's start with the lovely candy red metallic paint. This paint? It's part of the extended paint range. And it's metallic. It's not like a triple layer, is it? It's just a metallic, metallic paint. Two and a half grand? Four and a half 
thousand euros, and that's excluding tax as well. X tax. Oh, four and a half grand. Okay. Uh, contrast stitching in the lovely camel. This here. Yes. So what the camera might, may or may not be picking up on, this might look black or grey on camera. It's actually like a dark green. Uh, so what you've got on the lower panelling, where the, there's this contrast tan, it has the green stitching. On the upper panelling, they've complemented the contrast tan and they've got the tan stitching. 800 quid? 1,720 <laughs> euros. For some, for some thread. Plus tax. For some thread. Although, to be honest, I, I have had a tour of the Bentley factory and the work that goes in to these. When they say handmade, they really are. The steering wheels in particular, they're on these special mounts and there is a human stitching this beautiful cross stitch here. It does look great, so there is actually quite a lot of work into it, but still, 1,700 quid. That's quite a lot for some stitching. So, the emblem stitching, the, the flying bee behind your head, right there. So, the embroidery on the headrests, I'm gonna go with 800 quid again. You're a little bit overshot there, 525. Okay, I, and that's for four of them, because there's some in the back seat as well. That's so, my... 500, okay, for, just, just over 500 for embroidery, it is nice. Touring specification. Let me read out what the touring specification yeah, what is. Yeah, what does that? So you've got lane assist, okay. adaptive cruise control, Bentley safeguard, night vision, and the heads-up display. We actually had the Bentley braking safeguard uh, come into its own earlier. We were on track following another identical spec uh, Continental GT, and it didn't believe that I was about to stop. And the seats suck in and pinch you. Your seatbelt tightens and it kind of applies the brakes for you, which I'm not sure I like. Not that you're going to be tracking it, but I guess in an emergency situation where you have to brake or you haven't braked enough, it could be quite cool. Uh, anyway, as a tech pack for four and a half grand? £6,195. This is racking up fast. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We're already 11 grand wow. and with four options in. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> The next one on the list, the city specification. What's the city spec? So that's top view camera, like a bird's eye view parking camera. Okay. Uh, traffic sign recognition, so you know how quick you're going. Yeah. Uh, city assist, no idea. Pedestrian warning, reverse traffic warning, uh, automatic dimming mirrors, and hands-free boot opening. There sounded like quite a lot of options on that. Five grand? No, 3,960. I thought you were gonna say more. <laughs> That, okay, that doesn't sound so bad because there's so many options there. Lots of tech and, and cameras. Next one on the list, mood lighting specification. Okay, the mood lighting is awesome. It's a really nice ambient setting. You can't see it now because it's just too bright, but there's these really subtle, but very crisp, very beautiful light inlays that, that follow this chrome line here. And you can change the ambient lighting on this massive display here. Uh, and you can go through all the colours of the rainbow. And at night time, it is quite a special place to sit. It looks intricate, it looks expensive. Two and a half grand. 1,500 quid. All right, when you see it in action, I'd probably spec that. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a must have on the, on the concept. It's nice. The next one, the front seat comfort specification. Um, let What's me that? read what? that out for you. Um, adjustable if, headrest, adjustable cushion length, adjustable side bolsters, ventilation and massage functions. Okay, the ventilation has been amazing and the massage function, as much as it's a hyper luxury on that long tour, it was pretty cool. Uh, there's moving componentry there, isn't there? I'm going to go for three grand. 2,650. Okay, I'm overshooting things now because the beginning of like the options to start off with were so absurd. The first four options. The first four, four options were heavy. 11 grand in four options. Okay. Diamond knurling? This stuff knurling here. Specification. Knurling. Specification. Diamond knurling. Yes. So this, I assume, is the detail surrounding many of the instruments. It is so exactly that, yes. On all of the switch gear that you interact with, there's this diamond cut knurling, and I think it just transforms the interior. It just enhances the quality of the interior, no end. It's so intricate. In terms of how much that would cost, I wouldn't know where to start. I don't know, 800 quid? 1,470 pounds. 
I guess there's a lot of engineering in that. Yeah. But all, all of these, look, all of this switch gear, the vents, it does give the hot, it does, as subtle as it is, it does feel a totally different step on. It is nice. So we're moving on to the next two options, okay. which are the most expensive options on the car. Oh God, okay. So the first one is the Bentley rotating display. Okay, let's talk about this, right? So, the, the main screen um, has three sides to it. It's got the main screen, which is your infotainment, sat nav, etc. You press the screen button once and it rotates round to display three analog instruments. I think there's compass, time and temperature. And then you can flick it around a third time and it is a plain fascia which matches up with the veneer paneling on the dashboard. The reasoning behind that third panel that goes back to just no instruments is that in future when this car's technology becomes outdated, you're able to flick it back around to just wood and then you're just driving a beautiful car. So it's almost, it's weird to think that just wood is kind of future proofing the car. That's what Bentley's thoughts were behind it. In this spec, it does feel, when you rotate it back around to that third just wood panel, you feel like you're piloting a yacht. It is, it is nice. Uh, God, in terms of cost, there's two screens and veneer wood paneling with a chrome inlay. For four and a half grand. 4,700. Oh, I was close. You, 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 I was close. Get in there. Do you know what? I know this is an, that's an absurd amount of money, but when you, when you interact with it, it's everything. It's the entire centerpiece of this car. I can't imagine the car's spec without it. It's become such an iconic function of the car. Okay. Oh, it's got to be the sound system next. Sound system is next. The name audio premium sound system. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. It is so good. I haven't heard a sound system like this, and it's but it's loud, but it's crisp. Place nothing above it. It's all like that. Don't believe we ain't going like that. We're always going to be. You know, it very rarely, unless we've played some tracks, which I I actually think haven't been mastered that well, and the bass is a bit heavy. But it's amazing. Uh, it's the must-have on the. It's the must-have on this thing for sure. Similar price. No, uh, come uh, on, what uh, is it? £6,500. Doesn't it have like 26 speakers and two subs? It's 2,400 watts worth of speaker <laughs> power. That's substantial. That is substantial. So there you go. And honestly, that is but a few options which are available on this car. So base price, George. What's the, what's the base price of the car? £156,700. So... Uh, while that is an incredible amount of money, compared to other cars out there, it's not offensive, but by God, do the options rack up. So this is about a 200 grand spec. Yeah, 200 grand, give or take. You know, it does feel it. When you step in it, it does feel it. I do get in some cars sometimes when I'm like, really? This, every touch point with this, it feels like I'm in a new realm. I think they have taken the interior game and just shot it to the moon. It's really, it's really cool. So there you go, face value, up the base list, not too offensive. By the time you've got the bits on that you might want, I mean, there are some fancy details that might not be essential, but some of the big hitting stuff, annoyingly, is pretty awesome <laughs> that you might want. Screen and speakers, yeah. Could you imagine Merling. like a carbon pack as well? I could. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about this. Uh, I think they do a deep metallic navy called Windsor Blue. I would expect that on the outside, and they do a mandarin orange interior. So it, on the outside, it would be quite dark and sophisticated, but interior would look like this glowing orb, which is just like drawing you inside. You get inside and it would just be navy contrast stitch against the iridescent orange interior. Not that I've thought about it much. <laughs> We're now gonna go over to the hospitality, finish up the day, give you guys a bit of a brief insight into uh, Bentley's hospitality at the Spa 24 hours. This is our not so humble hospitality that Bentley have put on. They have, I think, by far outdone every other brand here. Their presence is huge. 
as you can see we have this gorgeous whitewashed lounge we've had food on flow all day uh, particularly the tiramisu has been insane uh, in fact it's definitely been upsetting my power to weight ratio it's gorgeous gorgeous stuff anyway the light is dropping uh, we have to get back and edit this video so we can grace your eyeballs with said content uh, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed a quick uh, insight into Bentley Continental GT more importantly taking you along for the ride going up Eau Rouge during the Spa 24 hour it was a very special experience and um, yeah an insight into those incredible options on the car as well but there's lots more to come stay tuned please subscribe because in the coming weeks there's some really big news coming uh, that I want as many of you to see as possible uh, because it's a really significant part of the journey of this channel to think about where it started and to where it's going in a few weeks time is super exciting so please subscribe because there's some big alerts coming as always guys thanks for watching and I shall see you next time ciao